guys, good morning. Marcy and Miss Dana having a little issue. Um, I think that, um, you see, when you are acquaintance, there's certain distance you have to keep from people when, from when you are a friend with someone. Because when you are acquaintance, acquaintance and friendship is two different things. Acquaintance is something different from a friendship. And when you have a friend, you value your friend, you respect your friend. As oh, I love Sadia, I love Nicola, and I love my other friend, Nicola. And two of the Nicola is from Jamaica. My other best friend, Sadia, is from Africa. Those are my best friend. Those are not acquaintance. Those are my friend. Acquaintance and he's like other people i would not call their name but sadia and nicola simpson my other friend nikki that is here those are my my genuine and best friend those are close to my like my sisters and i believe strongly that you know when you are a friend friend and friend come under different agreement but we don't have to throw shade at each other we don't have to disrespect each, each other you understand me but this being said i need to say something to you you know, because Auntie Dana, you're a little bit too, you know, I understand you have your, um, Auntie Dana reef for, um, go, go fun. Auntie Dana go fun. I know you have your charity. I know you have your cooking thing. I know you have your baking thing. But at the same time, we cannot act too mighty and powerful. We have to remember who is God. We have to remember where God has brought us from. Remembering and going back is two different things. You will not go back to that lifestyle, but you have to remember you cannot act too almighty and powerful just remember god is god and god is god he's the same god that stands in the midst and the gap of everything we're not supposed to act too almighty and powerful when it come up we have to give credit where credit due jesus is the one that brought me here jesus is the one that keeping me going jesus is the one that covering and shielding me and i think auntie dana you're a little bit too Kakati and you need to understand things. We cannot be all that much. It's in the Bible. We can't be too almighty and kakati like we want people to praise us. No praise is got to me and you. No praise is got to nobody. So if if this lady that you follow up with, you have to uh, You see that? People st Marcia. Miss Marcia, you see, Marcia, you hear? You can't be so quick to talk, Miss Dana. We have to be, and it's true. So quick to talk. We have to listen to Miss Marcia. Miss Dana, you have to learn to listen. Not because you are, you, 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 you are your own boss. We have to learn to listen as a boss. You have to learn to listen as a, you know, like yesterday, guys, I went to the studio. And when I went there, listen, guys, can wait to hear me clearly and hear me clearly carefully i went there when i went there my oliver wasn't there but you know um drill was there and i tell you when when i get there the things he was he setting up my this stuff to start my my my, my stuff and i tell you i sit and i listen and i never understand certain things miss dana yes miss dana i did not you have to listen to miss marcy because you have to learn to listen miss dana you cannot be too jump and to act on things that oh i'm gonna cut off this person i'm gonna be mad just like siloni siloni love you you know siloni and medication siloni love you but siloni's situation is for our next time and you know you have to learn to listen you cannot because somebody tells you oh Miss Marcia said something you want to jump and act. You have to watch what she said. Watch her video. Watch what she watch a video and listen for yourself and ear for yourself. We have ears to ears, eye to see. Listen, listen to what Miss Marcia said. And I know as what this blogger is saying, she have never said anything bad about so the, the, she said Miss Marcia never said anything bad about you. You're just a little bit too jump and a little too, you know, and you have to cut down a little. You have to cut down, Miss Donna. I love you and I watch you, but certain things that you have done, I will not agree with it. And I will not sit there and and condone it and laugh with it and no deep down i'm not you understand me i'm not that type of person i think you have to cut yourself down cut back a little bit stop act to almighty and powerful you are not god is only one god and if you said you in church you you have to understand about what the bible the bible talk about meek meek and humbleness you know the bible talk about being meek and humble in the presence of god and in in other in the presence of other people you have to be meek and humble humble miss dana you have to be meek and humble miss dana you can't act like you're almighty and powerful you have no power you have no authority you have no dominion over nothing god of all power and all angles he got the order in them and he can do anything else in that banner that we can even ask and think of and we have to be remindful who the founder and the creator are and you have to listen to miss um to our miss dana you cannot be 
You have to listen to her, Miss Donna. If Marcia said something and she sees some fault or something with the play the other day, you have to listen and go back and watch a play and say, well, you know, Miss Marcia, I see it for myself and I think I think everything you're telling me is the truth because I said, you can't be too jumpy, Miss Donna, to jump to act on things and then acting out of ignorance. I used to be like that, you know. Seriously, guys, I used to be like that. But now, I tell her for the past two, three years, I you know, two years, I should say, sorry, for the past two years, I kind of, you know, cut myself and, you know, but we have to be very careful and very mindful that people going to have to tell us the truth, what they see. You know, as I said, guys, when they take me a while for me to, you know, and now this person that I'm talking to, sometime when I realize I'm wrong, I will apologize to him because when you're wrong, you're wrong. You have to apologize when you're wrong. And sometimes I do apologize. Even if I have a call and call till I get the person or text and text till the person respond, I do acknowledge when I'm wrong. And I think, Miss Donna, you have to admit when you're wrong okay if miss if you know you have to admit when you're wrong you can't just think that acting that we have to you know And must have been pretty good around you, just like it's just like Siloni. No, you people pay Siloni to go and uh, to, to to um promote their things, and instead of she promote the people, them things, guys, she talking about big up Miss Donna, she had defend Miss Donna. It's your people, the you know, the Bible, the, you know, they, they said, you know, misery love company, and it's true. It's all other people come and tell Miss Donna, do this to Siloni, and she follow like she have no mind of her own, she cannot, you know, make her own decision, and that's the truth, guys. Go back and don't come on my thing and think you can this but you can because you know I, I i'm really god got my back if you if you listen to oh god your back when your friend walk away when your mother get, jesus got my back and this song based off of me myself too you understand me so miss donna you have to learn to listen you have to go back and watch your friend stuff see you know this you know it's true you know acquaintance and friend is two different things and associate and it's two different and it's true you can't be too much Marcia is telling you the truth. You have to go back to watch the play to see what you see. You can't just do jumpy and, you know, fit because now you're, you know, come on. Yes, you, you know. We have to remember, oh God, you stop acting like you're mighty fool. We are not. Just you know, notice when I speak, guys, about my gospel song or whatever God have done for me or whatever shift that God have shifted in my. I always put God in the middle and the center of everything. I don't. I don't. Nobody. Even if God give me. A word to call somebody that do not give me praise it does not go to me go to the king go to the founder which is god go to the son which is jesus do not give me no praise do not give me no no uh, no everything go to god and the son because god sent his only son which is jesus so when you think of, you have to give every praise to god every hallelujah go to jesus every praise go to god not to me and mary where did you get no no, Jesus gave it to me. You know, as I lift you guys, listen to my song. As I said, you know, my producer um was not there yesterday. And um, you know, he's on vacation, he's coming back next week. And um, I need to text Olivia too. Guys, give a big shout out to Olivia, Casey, Jarrell, PR, and all the great team at the studio. You know, they are very great, very awesome. They take the time to listen to me, they take the time to, you know, because remember, I just started, you know, it just doesn't take, you know. Jesus takes six day if you do everything and the seven day he was rest. So come on. So I just started this stuff. You know, God been calling me. God been giving me song and I've been laying on them. Put them in my CF, lay on this, lay on this song. And I decided that I'm going to release what God gave me. And I did take a stand and I did take a step and go do what God called. Yes, I did take a little time, but I did take a step, guys. And, um, to, you know, cause God is good enough to, I, I have to acknowledge who God is and, um, I don't mind waiting on the Lord and what God have in store for me because I know I am next in line for my breakthrough, for my finances, for everything, for my for my family, my kids. I am next in line and I declare that in Jesus' name. But Auntie Donna, we have to be reminded that we cannot act like people cannot correct us, act like we, we don't want to listen. 
Hello. Hello. Who is this? Yeah. He's not here.